Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very bad video. It's the video that should never take place. Um, just before I, I started recording this, I probably ended up eating maybe, I don't know, maybe 5,000 calories or something like this. And I didn't have a good week to tell you because of this video. I did a very successful version of this video in Croatian language. Serbs, Croats, Bosnian people, Slovenian people understand one. Uh, but now it's time for me to upgrade and finish the job in English language. I will actually let few things out that don't really matter to uh, every Joe but all in all I will include some other stuff that in Croatian version I did not include one, I did not involve one in yeah so it will be it will be a little bit of everything uh, definitely this is a very difficult video for me to record uh, if you like unpleasant difficult for me to record this stuff but it's got to be done how this project come to life this project because I mentioned I ate about maybe 5,000 calories before I started video recording this shit this project come to life by my basically eating myself that's exactly what happens when governments neglect you do not want to recognize crime and it's up to you to bring the whole thing up up to the surface in this video I'm gonna to explain to you you will you'll get to understand how fucked up this stuff is mentally how demanding mentally abusive this shit is I'm gonna say anything, I mean, I'm just gonna to explain to you the concept on how the governments work together so you get to understand the whole concept of why this shit is a killer this is not a this is not a kiddish shit that you watch on a YouTube it's about most of the stuff that you see on a on a YouTube, on, on a video streaming channels 99.9% 9.99 is just a regular kiddish shit. It's nothing. It's a bullshit. It's about it's about to create something, do something. <clears throat> this here is about something completely different. Croatia. Croatia, Croatia is a country on the Balkans. It is located right next to or became independent, known as a Slovenia. Otherwise, you, this used to be part of the Greater Serbian Chetnik State, known as previously known as a Yugoslavia. That was a Serbian state that occupied several nations uh, for quite some time. Uh, before it finally, about 50 years, before it finally blew into, into a total war on the Balkans. Serbs launched war simultaneously, or I should say at once, they launched war against Slovenes, uh, which were concerned about human rights violations 
von Kosovo. We were concerned for Albanian minority because the Serbs would just or daily they would just run them over, destroy them, kill them, imprison them. It was just really against the rules of United Nations, it was against the rules of modern world, if you want, principles, modern world was founded upon. So magically they find themselves as the second one on the list. Ran over with the tanks, fighter jets even have thrown a few bombs, killed few people, <clears throat> but Serbian army had to retreat from Slovenia after just a few days of war in Slovenia because the war in Croatia broke out. Bosnian people were still not clear about what goes on, what's happening. Uh, they still refuse to take guns in their hands. But in Croatia, this is the second state from this so-called Yugoslav Federation to the waste arms. The hell broke out. Later on, it broke out also in Bosnia, when Bosnian people finally understood what goes on, what Serbs actually want. They started to defend their dear lives too. Uh, Macedonia separated without, that I would know of, I don't know any of, Casualties, war casualties, anything like this. Even that I was told it was all kinds of stuff that went on over there too. And then in the end, boy, you even had uh, the closest cousins of Serbs, Montenegrins, separating away from this notorious Yugoslav Federation. And because this uh, Croatia is just That's what I deemed was uh, pro-European current. Uh, much more accessible European values-wise state. Not because of its proximity, not because they would be the neighbor here or anything like this, but because exactly because of what I stated right now. Uh, I deem that as a good neighbor, Slovenia absolutely should support uh, Croatia at whatever cost. I deem that Slovenia should actually even, during the Balkan War, should have, have even sent military uh, to Croatia to liberate one. To help Croats liberating one. So Serbs launched war against Slovenians, Croats, Bosnians, Kosovo people. That's four different nations at the same time and everywhere even for Slovenia which is not even border with the Serbia. Uh, the expected outcome simply was ethnic cleansing, like wipeout of domestic population. And the problem with the Slovenia is that we have uh, people here who represent Belgrade. We have people like Milan Kucin here. Belgrade is the capital of Serbia. And people like Borut Pahor here. We have people like Danilo Kuk here. We have people like We 
where people like Tanya Fayon where people that self-proclaim themselves as ex-communist party, ex-Yugoslav communist party members. But from what I already stated to you, described to you, this communist party didn't have anything to do really with the communism. It becomes evident that this communist party, this so-called Yugoslav Communist Party in fact had absolutely everything to do with in terms of ethnic cleansing genocide against the native people here in Slovenia against the native people in Croatia against the native people in all these former republics of Yugoslavia had nothing else to do with it than with the ethnic cleansing with the genocide for the sake of Greater Serbia, Belgrade. It became completely evident, even more so after Yugoslavia had fallen apart and all these new countries were born. <clears throat> now, what's so mind clustering, buggy? troublesome for me personally is uh, simply a fact that Croatia was the country I always always have uh, defended from Russians who also participated in this last Balkan war I did everything possible to make their things impossible. Uh, I did everything possible to literally have and did involve West in this Balkan war for the sake of Croatia. West feared of what I'm saying to you right now. I was actually conditioned, threatened against, but <clears throat> by the Western politicians, by Vladimir Putin, let's say not Western politician, but Vladimir Putin saying me, uh, for instance, uh, about this operation, it's no, it was known as a liberation operation of Croatia, it was known as a storm. Oluya, Vladimir Putin stated to me, he threatened all the time, even that he knew that it was West that actually supported Croatia in this. Uh, Serbs described during this operation how there are tanks, which greatly outnumber Croatian tanks and had a higher quality capacities were simply annihilated upon initial contact with the enemy. They couldn't defeat themselves against whatever hit them right on the targets. They ended up jumping out of the fucking tanks, running for their lives towards Serbia, literally where Croatian army would progress over the territory. So if I recall Vladimir Putin, when he said it to me, he said to me, well, he threatened to me that it's going to have a terrible implications for the West if he finds out that indirectly he threatened me in front of Western politicians who gathered here inside of this house. Western and Eastern politicians since 1995, no man to this very house here, and of course area, but nowhere more than in this house. All the major global agreements were made since in this house. He wanted to intimidate me by even daring to say, you know, 
than even think about saying that is actually West who assisted. And so from the point of Western, it was like not desired for me to, to state what I just stated right now, that it was actually West who assisted Grazier in liberation, in liberating itself from Serbian occupation. And it's just liberated partially. It's not even liberated to its full extent, to be completely precise about it. <clears throat> Obviously, from what I stated, uh, Vladimir Putin was completely aware about what the fuck went on. He was not a newbie. Uh, he was not an amateur. He participated in this stuff. Already in 1995, he met me in the United States of America next to American politicians. This was a KGB top KGB officer who became surrounded with a failed post-Soviet officers, high-ranking officials with whom he actually formed uh, mafia, private gangster club and have decided we'll take Russia on a mafia trip at least till West till West is gonna realize that he is in war with Europe and something in between and back and forth and so on and so forth with the idea that he will manage to convince not only obtain Western technology the way he did now, this kind of technology has a limits, and Americans are not so stupid, and nor think I British, nor I Germans, so that they would just go and give away all their best, you know? Uh, you do want to, with a friend like this, you have to be careful. But in Ukraine, so far, he caused a great mayhem. Still, everything is according to MK Ultra, from what I see. We yet have to see about what's going to happen. From Vladimir Putin's perspective, this information to become public was not desirable. Uh, West prohibited me from stating what I stated <clears throat> but Serbs that bitched inside of my room whenever they visit this house about uh, their tanks, about this and that they got me a pretty good idea about what went on during the storm known as Oluya now this operation liberation of Croatia the so-called Storm Oluya came with incredible price for me. This was, as a matter of fact, I don't have to uh, go too far. A sacrifice for me that would come at the cost of See, the house behind me, you see it. Of my childhood friend I had, literally taking me to right across Gorianzi. Uh, that's something you cannot see from here. <clears throat> but it's right over the hill. And it's a huge hill, it's about almost 1300 meters high. Actually, I don't know, 1250 or whatever meters high and <clears throat> he took me there for abuse for beatings it was the first time that it would be chetniks with milan kuchan in 1995 when it all started as i explained 
beatings in front of memorials inside of this house that are involving family against me. Neighbors. Eventually ended up on a uh, hills, Gorianzi. It's called Svetagera in Croatian. In Slovenian, Tardino Vrh. T R D N O V space V R H. Right at the top of these hills known as Gorianzi. And right across, just next to that, <laughs> it's actually the first farm I never supposedly was there. It belongs to the Croats, something like that. And then it's like a second farm, something that belongs to like a Serb or something like that. What kind of Serb I'm talking about? Well, I'm talking about people who ran from the Ottoman Empire. Because uh, Slovenia, you see, this used to be part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This, this here, this Slovenia, for over 1,000 years, this used to be part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. That's why we are of a mixed origins here in Slovenia. Uh, it also concerns this video. It's also something that uh, I'm going to say greatly displeased me about this fact concerning Croatia. Anyhow, nothing good went on with this uh, Uskok, as they appear to, as this group of people who escaped from this occupied by Ottoman Empire. Uh, parts of uh, Serbia. Uh, they, uh, they were given by Slovenian authorities under Austro-Hungarian Empire the right to settle, but this was part of Austria here, to settle in this southern Slovenian region known as Zumberak. And this was the region all the way to Karlovac in Croatia. Karlovac was part of Slovenia too. Which they populated so that they could live in peace here up north, north of the Balkans. Uh, peace and prosperity so they could pursue their happiness uh, their way of life, basically, um, that's what this was, that's what this was all about, yeah? Serbian brothers, I don't know uh, how long ago this was, maybe 300, 400 years ago, I don't know. Here is your piece of land, live here in peace on this Slovenian territory we give you. Live in peace, be here, be happy, just enjoy your life. Well, it didn't take much time. This Zumberak Serbs decided to take uh, justice in their own hands. Slovenian language no longer appealed to them. They had their own Protestant Orthodox Church. prohibited Slovenian language from being used, separated from Slovenia to Croatia. Maybe because of the language issues, because the Serbo-Croat language is similar, and later attempted to wipe out Croatian people. This is the Serb. This is a real Serb. Now I'm talking about the Zumbergs, the Serbs that immigrated here. Some still villages populated here in Slovenia. That's a brother Serb.
That's a little known to Slovenian people because during the Second World War, Hitler exiled, Adolf Hitler exiled Slovenian people to Serbia, certain Slovenian people to Serbia. And they were granted by the Serbs a refuge in Serbia. So we are taught, and really I was not there to, to tell exactly what the truth is about this. Um, we have a politician such as Milan Kuchan that know better, and that's all we know about the history between us and between the Serbs. Yugoslavia, obviously, this was a jail of the nations. This was a Balkan jail of the nations, extermination camp for the sake of Greater Serbia. I don't know anything else I would say in respect to these relations other than what I have experienced during the last Balkan war myself. It started literally with the Serbs beatings. It went to Petrinja. It went to Knin. It went to all over the places before I even embarked for work aboard the celebrity cruise lines on Meridian, ship Meridian, trans-oceanic, transatlantic uh, ship, Greek company. Uh, before I even settled in the United States of America, the passenger present on that ship was uh, Prince Andrew and uh, it was very very soon that the next passenger uh, who joined Prince Andrew this was actually Prince Charles but the first passenger and what really got me into a whole lot of trouble the first passenger was Alexander Karadjordjevic, son from the king, Yugoslav, so-called, of Kingdom of the SHS, Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, Slovenes, who immigrated, who ran to London during the Second World War to save his life. And he was the one in great relations, this prince who was given status of the prince in Britain, was the one who introduced, in this case, first Prince Andrew, and then soon who joined, who joined actually, that was Prince Charles. At the time, Prince Charles, now that's a King Charles, or King Carl, or whatever you want to call that, to be completely precise about how all that stuff went on, how it all played. That's why we need to bring the memories all about this stuff. You got to eat yourself. You got to eat yourself in and out. You got to make yourself crazy sometimes. Even for the stuff that you shouldn't, you have to do it. To create so much contradiction in your head so that you manage to get to the bottom, to this little details that matters the most, that go all the way into the distance of 28 years back in time. 28 years back in time when you were drugged up. You know Melania, Melania Knaus, wife of Donald Trump. You know, she's from here, right? From Novel Mist of Vicinity. Don't ask how Donald Trump met her. I, I gave you more than enough idea. Nothing on Wikipedia about Donald Trump, his fiance is truth, nothing. The truth is here with me. And I had to pay a bloody price for it. Finally, they placed me a psychiatric gag on my mouth in 2030, claiming I was a paranoid schizophrenic. In 2015, I was threatened, if you only mention one more time, the word MKUltra, 
It's going to be ambulance vehicle that's going to stop right under your home and will take you away again. They did, but it was worth it. That much better of the story of the truth this makes. Look, credible, I should say. Look. In 1995, when this stuff started, I was taken to uh, this area I have explained in the videos to the occupied parts of Croatia where the Serbs were Chetniks. And they conditioned me to get either involved in this stuff or be destroyed, whatever. Which didn't make any sense to me because, especially because I was so nationally self-aware, my being Slovenian already separated from so-called Yugoslavia, recognized globally as an independent state. In the United States of America, uh, where I was at the time working on the ship in 95, didn't make any fucking sense to me. Uh, I figured out what, what, how you're gonna, what are you gonna do in this and that, but it was bad stuff that was happening already during the work on this celebrity cruise line whenever I was hijacked from one. Introduced me daughter of this Tara Georgievich. Some Serbian ladies in London uh, and they were actually not in London. We had to drive to some other location up north. I'm not going to go bother with that right now. Do we have agreement? Was with uh, Prince Andrew as per marriage wise. Are we going to strike the deal here under MK Ultra? And uh, I was still having a problem with this deal. Uh, this was not the reason why I immigrated to the United States of America. <laughs> So I can find myself on the Balkans uh, in some crazy shithole, just like you see places taken today, again in Ukraine. And I say again because at the time when I was talking to Americans in the US in 96, in 95 and 97 about this stuff, it didn't matter to them. They were like, we don't give a fuck. It made to me somewhat even rational issue out of all this because I figure out, well, truth is, there's a small country compared to the US. Um, and another thing is, the time will show who is right, who is not. But today, there is no doubt that people who collaborated with the Vladimir Putin But there were actually two fronts. One front literally was willing to give away absolutely everything. And then there was that second front that for the cash, for the trade, for the sake of the trade relations and even some global issues involved. And they had a second group that had faked this relationship uh, with the Putin that were there in the picture to encourage one so that they could actually get the real beast out of the shell. The real beast out of the shell, Vladimir Putin, who talked about Nazism. I was a Nazi. They were Nazis. Everybody in Europe, Western Europe was a Nazi. Italian, Spanish, uh, French, German, Scandinavian, British, American, white, whatever. It was all Nazi. Everything was a Nazi. The one who saw everywhere Nazis, this was Milan Kuchan. It was a fucking madness. And I alone had to carry this fucking madness for the great cost of beatings, 
not only in what turned into beatings on Serbian parts of occupied Croatia and Serbian parts of occupied Bosnia or if you like also in Serbia where they would bring me they would literally bring me on the front lines in Bosnia into the ditches where they exchanged the fire there you have it now stress the issues on us and so on and so forth so they would exchange the fire with the Croats, with the Bosnians and so on in Belarus in Russia well this shit extended through the Poland through the Poland all the way into into Croatian state at first this Croatian state was timid he was extremely 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 careful and I said Poland because in 95 it was Pope John the Polish Pope who actually assisted KGB he went ahead and on behalf of the Kaczynski brothers uh, have involved Vatican into abductions from the United States of America uh, to Russia to Belarus to Serbia and so on this was the man this was the Jack in Vatican who ensured that the American authorities Western intelligence agency uh, was crippled in many ways he pressured them religiously this Polak this dog of Kaczynski brothers it was said that Kaczynski worked for the KGB during the Soviet Union Kaczynski brothers were mentors from Andrzej Duda today president of Poland and the prime minister known as Mateusz Morawiecki now this is a very 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 important thing so when I said uh, through Poland on Croatia Poland was the one that disseminated Russian violence against me they sided with the Serbs through the Czech Republic through Slovakia and finally through Croatia they were the initiator of the violence against me what's interesting is this group which already started to participate in violence against me in 1995-96 that's as early as I could feel the stick of the Polacks even Czechs Slovaks a Russian stick brazenly beating me up, terrorizing me, death threatened me in a Czech Republic in Slovakia because of Poland mainly because of Poland Poland was the one that acted on behalf of Russia Poland was uh, the most European part of Russia in 95, 96, 97, 98 and so on Poland, Poland was uh, oh, very 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 bad place to be you understand so the last one to give in into this violence also was Croatia in 2000 and in a little bit I'm gonna get to this stuff all that matters right now is that you understand my circumstances the stuff that went on here this madness this Balkan cattle Balkan war shit place uh, that develop into into ultimate hell hell hole during the last wars in 90s Balkan wars uh, you need to understand between 95 and August of 2006 that's for more than 11 and a half consecutive years I did not depart the United States of America at any time absolutely any time except for when I went ahead and I visited the family of my ex-wife 
that was in Ecuador to Ecuador to South America, I traveled maybe even on three occasions. Those are the only times I have exited the United States of America within this 11 and a half year period. I would not want to return to Slovenia to my homeland because of the stuff I'm talking about. If I was going to return back to Slovenia, I would return by buying myself my own ticket, boarding plane with enough cash in hands that if worse would come to worse, I would still be able to get the fuck out of here on time. That kind of need, urgency, eventually did happen. It did occur when I immigrated back to Slovenia in 2006, spent here two years jobless, <laughs> paying for the shit, and finally uh, faced with uh, psychiatrists involved in MK Ultra uh, after police have lost case against me on a local court. Uh, police exercised assassination attempt and have failed by even exchanging a brand new car tires I purchased for my car Mazda, which I personally purchased in the US with all worn out tires. It almost cost me life. That's stuff I have. If you're gonna go to blog, you can just go Google. You just want to uh, Google right there, car assassination attempt, back of hell. That was the name of the place. I almost wrecked myself. Milan Kuchar was involved in it and so on and so forth. But I had enough money to get out. Other than that, I did not exit the United States of America. Three occasions between 95 and 2006. Three occasions, all three were to South America to my ex-wife. Her name is Teresa Baccaro. She's from Quito and she is an indigenous lady. Indian, real Indian. Uh, that much for racism. But this racism Vladimir Putin claimed existed because today again everything in Ukraine is about denazification. This uh, racism was greatly supported by the black community throughout the United States of America. They got involved in it and if I go back to British who might have declined in the face to marry Kara Georgievich uh, they transferred me to Africa and demanded for me to marry some lady from the jungle. Uh, literally traveled through three villages to get to that place, jungle. She was really that this is your wife, this is going to be. Well, obviously, it, it, I don't have to explain why they were doing stuff like this. But basically what horrifies me is that upon my return here to Slovenia in 1995, when I, once I already landed in Miami and was hijacked back to Slovenia, what, what scared the shit, what surprised me, what shocked me was that those guys in Africa were the first that uh, pressed on my being racist because I don't want to marry her. And it was American blacks who got involved in it, claiming the same thing. And what really got on my nerve was that what I was sure were my friends from United Nations, Madagascar, because I used to work for association, youth association here in Slovenia. Yeah. We would uh, meet with the people, with uh, uh, kids and their mentors from all over the world. So it was not strange that the students from Madagascar came, whom I assisted best of my possibilities when working in a camp here. 
not too far from here in Dolenska to Plitsa, prior to departure to the United States of America. And uh, assist, began to assist Milan Kuljan and his uh, apparatchiks with the torture here in Slovenia, in Novo Mesto. These are the people that were frequent guests here to Slovenia. I associated with it, uh, them. And I couldn't fucking believe that in 95, uh, supposedly they were missing in 95. It was something like this. But the mentors were here, don't worry about that. They assisted them. They wanted some kind of a racial war and the same shit went on, on in this occupied parts of Croatia. Drawn into this kind of racial shit, seeing these people in front of me all of a sudden siding with the people like Milan Kuchan, this was just the big, biggest, biggest, biggest disappointment. Milan Kuchan sure knew how to exploit the so-called communist issue. Communist. That's exactly the same principles he had used to draw in the game China. China only heard communist, communist good, communist good. They didn't think about what, who, what kind of communism, who is this, what the fuck is going on. None of that, man. Just the communism, the, uh, that's it. You don't want to marry some lady over there from the jungle? Okay, man, you're racist. The princ their principles were so profound, so deep, so uh, classic, classless, that it didn't matter whether, who was in front of you, what kind of education that person had, how that person looked like. If the Communist Party tells you that you are to marry that person, you are to marry that person. And if not, you're racist, you need to be wasted, you need to be destroyed, killed, virtually. I met this shit, I met this kind of attitude throughout the United States of America time and again, over and over again afterwards. It was all acceptable for United Nations at my disappointment. Croatia, for me to summarize Croatia, and so that there ain't gonna be no, you know, so that I just don't leave any kind of uh, open areas, anything that somebody would doubt, somebody would question, somebody would actually have, uh, you know, idea about uh, something alternative, you know, something. What I'm gonna do at this point in time is I'm just going to go ahead and I will connect myself to the internet like this. That's a guy that's talking and dreaming about Kupris. Yeah, it really is. Croatian town uh, occupied by the Serbs, uh, I suppose. And uh, the easiest thing for me to get into this stuff is this here. And you're going to have a song. The name of the song is Moi Ivane, this one here, you know? Now, if I play this shit, this guy that you see right in the center, the only thing he's gonna do is, he's gonna click on the bottom and this video is not gonna be seen anywhere. You are more than well, it's a beautiful, beautiful song uh, about somebody that Udba took on the list and escaped from Yugoslavia to Europe uh, and then he returned all the time whatever he was working uh, he worked and he returned with a big BMW uh, old model big BMW old model uh, to marry his blonde girl over there in Croatia and uh, the individual that you see Marko Pirkovic is his name also is known as a Thompson he says, uh, be brother me, you know, make me a brother. Uh, this, this man returns with a 1,000 uh, 
guys um, lyrics in English and uh, it's it's all whose grass it is uh, whose girl is this uh, yellow and blue it's a even is uh, grass it's a even is whatever uh, women uh, blue and yellow uh, destiny them and destiny stole our even from Cupres all over the white world there is only one wish that stayed strong uh, and that is to sing again a song about the Cupres hero uh, my even let's become brothers uh, be brother me uh, uh, and then it's obviously this even that is singing uh, have you been to the Cupres lately is this Cupris field being taken care of? Is it is it uh, is this field uh, seeded with uh, whatever corn, whatever? Uh, Ivan will come back with a thousand uh, men. This is in respect to what you're gonna see. The guy takes a pen and writes down uh, his name. When he was young, he disappeared. He went. To search future elsewhere worldwide um, so again there will be a song of our this you're gonna see in the video I'm not gonna play that video because fuck it like I said uh, the heroes like this censor me you know like I said this is not a bullshit song this is not an easy video and I don't want to get censored by a nonsense people uh, who you're gonna see who these people really are so for me, the main thing is for you to understand what my message to you is here now. And we're gonna sing a song and we're gonna, there will be girl, there will be everything, all, oh, everything will be, oh, you know what, get yourself this stuff if you want. There you go, this is in English. And so you can, you can translate this stuff if you, if you like. But I'm not gonna spend time here on this stuff anymore. Uh, you may want to even, if you like, stop this video and then watch that video if you like. It's a great video, it's a great song. Uh, but for me, the most important stuff uh, related to this video, I already have outlined. First of all, uh, who is this guy? This this uh, Thompson, this Mark. Marko Pirkovic, who is this guy? Uh, that's basically the first issue I want to clarify with you. Yeah. Uh, Marko Thompson Pirkovic was involved in MKUltra since 1995, but he was involved in MKUltra briefly. Uh, they lived in Germany, he returned, uh, went straight for the gun and went ahead to defend Croatia and uh, for me at the time he was an ultimate hero this guy was an ultimate ultimate hero if you ask me uh, I can't say about him nothing other than bravery a brave man however there was somebody else for whom and that's what pisses me off about this guy Marko Pirkovic. No, if the Marko Pirkovic is a shit Croat, then uh, you can get idea about Croatia completely. And I don't think you're gonna like this. You know, when I told you that I ate 5,000 calories this morning, today, to get this shit going, is the last fucking time the Croats have fucked me. That's why. This only happens one in a few years, but Croats are known as the backstabbers and the stuff I'm gonna tell you about is gonna make you think about who you're dealing with deeply. I'm not saying that the other side is better or anything like this because the other side is completely worthless. This shit 
in the heads of the Croats only exist because they are feared. They fear for lives. They are scared because of cowardice. It exists because they are swines. Now, to be a swine, that's present in a lot of people. And I think the combination of this shit creates uh, not a good human beings. If the other side ceases to exist, it probably will improve and humanize. Serbs introduced with the Russians into MK Ultra not one but two guys that had a very close facial features to Marko Pirkovic Thompson. Because this is the guy that is ultra Croat. This is the guy who fought in a Croatian war with some old rifle. And as I stated, I have not seen anything other than outstanding guy whom I have religiously supported since 1995 and whose country, whose nation I have religiously supported and because of what Prince Andrew said to me he was just inches away and we would give a cross mark on Croatia they made a deal, you know, in respect to the Putin, when the Putin stated, uh, if you will tell this, it will not be good. And what exactly was that bothered the most, Putin and also West? What bothered them is that they had a deal. They, in other words, went, they took a pencil in their hands, and they charted the map between the Croatia and between the Serbia. And then the only thing they did was they stroked the deal and whoever was on the way that did, wouldn't listen the orders from Belgrade probably, the only thing that would happen is it would be just uh, taken out basically by the Allies. But if I repeat to you Prince Andrew's words, if it wasn't for you, we were just inches away to give a cross on Croatia and it would be half of what you see now, it would be missing. Nobody was on the Croatian side. Nobody was on the Croatian side. The only one who was on the Croatian side, the religiously, I was the one. Charles and Andrew supposedly not befriended, but brothered me in nineteen in, as early as in nineteen ninety six. But brothered me. It was a Queen Elizabeth that supposedly even, I don't know, they had some kind of uh, something that, whatever, ignited me or whatever, under MK Ultra. I don't, I don't care about that guy. Okay. If they did this because of me, I want to say thank you. I want to thank the boat because it wasn't Britain that ran this operation. You had Germany and you had France. When it comes to French, that's another hero that is singing about in the Croatian songs that you should also know about this man. Okay, his name is Anton uh, Ante Gotovina. That's his name. Okay, and I say this because. His name is Ante Gotovina, this guy here. This was the, at the time, this was a legionnaire. He was in a French foreign legion, this guy. And uh, one time I got an order to go to the French foreign legion under MK Ultra. And there were like three cards they were choosing in between. 
So when you when you say Western allies, yeah, Western allies, that's fucking right, yeah, Western allies, they did um, chose based on my personal choice this man to be the one who afterwards attended for six months like a police academy, something like this. I was a legioner, Croatian guy, and once he was completely prepared, uh, they teach him everything on how to see these things from the legal point of view. Uh, they started this operation, the so-called operation known as Oluya, Thunder, whatever you want to Whatever you want to refer to this as, yeah? Uh, the problem with this guy was that he had a chance to wear the uniform. He had a chance to participate in a war field like a general. The problem with this guy, there were caught a few. The first problem with this guy was that during this operation storm, Oluya, this guy caught me on that MK Ultra direct up. He caught me. French Foreign Legion was involved in this stuff since 1995, and I really embrace one. I love French Legioners, are great people, just like in France. Uh, he caught me four times. Supposedly, you know, they set me up in a situations during which he appeared They demonstrated like a war and this and that and then he appeared and he video recorded and me himself and on this During this operations uh, he Claimed that he again saved my life. Every time it was, I saved your life again. I saved your life again. I saved your life again. But four times he saved my life again. He pronounced me as a Serbian, as a traitor, collaborator with the Serbs during this operation storm. Uh, did not stop short of. Did not stop short of calling me Serbian collaborator, uh, but boy, you know, the climax of this betrayal happened in 2000. This was a very successful operation. Croats managed to somewhat liberate a big part of Croatia. Major part of Croatia is still occupied, is still being stolen. But in 2000, you know, this is this is what got me. Kolinda Grabar is her name, and I was uh, involved since 1995. This lady, whom I have expressed uh, feelings like marriage-wise, like I was like uh, interested. Uh, because it was all about, you must find one Croatian lady. You know, it didn't make any fucking sense to me. Why the hell would I find a Croatian lady, one lady, you're going to tell me what the fuck I'm going to find. Come on, under MK Ultra, uh, according to the numbers, by 2000, I was worth more than, from the US alone, more than 200 billion dollars. Britain pledged, that's what they claimed, 50 billion in 96. Uh, and so on, if I ever managed to prove, it was about all about if you managed to prove this case, if you managed to prove this case. So why the fuck would somebody go, jumped up and choose one girl based on the politician's taste and marry her and so on and so forth, do that kind of stuff. Who the fuck would want to do this stuff if we go back to that issue about this black community in the US. This stuff here was no different. But anyhow, this girl here really appealed to me. Next to Thompson, Marko Perkovic, this was the girl that appealed to me. You see? 
and I was interested. But my idea was, you know, under MK Ultra, I was also young. I will be 51 now in December. My idea was the guy who has so much money, who has so much power, he can marry whatever woman at any fucking time. Just by looking at the Croatian politicians who had women, I figure out <laughs> what the fuck you're gonna be telling me. Uh, who, what, and how, and this and that. Just like this, basically, was my attitude. But the guy that you see right there, the KGB dude, maybe not present, but this was a KGB in 95, in 96, in the 97, in the 98. This was a KGB guy till maybe even today as I believe that Polacks and Russians created a common path in respect to Ukraine and possibly even Belarus, who knows. Uh, so they had their own interests involved in it. This was the guy who was spreading, who was involved in torture to the degree that his wife, Agata Kornhauser, wanted to divorce this guy. He was crazy. He traveled from Warsaw to Lodz, where they would bring me, just for beatings to do the torture on me with his comrade, Moraviecki. This, their mentor was Kaczynski, the Kaczynski brothers. These are the mentors. And I stated that these are the people who sent airline uh, a plane in 2010 into a flames Polish plane that flew to Katyn organized murder together with the Russians uh, in a plane accident which supposedly Kaczynski brother uh, even uh, was killed well the Kaczynski Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki, these people, these people traveled, these people traveled enormously a lot to St. Petersburg in 95, in 96. Kaczynski was fucking crazy about St. Petersburg, Russia. Kaczynski enjoyed Russia. Uh, wife from Kaczynski who died in accident in 2010. Uh, you know, talking is about if she is Latvian and I don't know, Estonian and Latvian. Uh, uh, she also has some strong Russian roots. She's from Belarus. She's from Belarus, is not even Polish. She was not, she was not even Polish. Their daughter was insured, very good insured. She had a very good insurance uh, in case of the accident, which upon which accident she collected. So the question here really opens is where the Kaczynski's husband and wife, the brother of President Kaczynski, were these people even on the plane? Well, the answer to this question is that Polish government alone declined to admit there was a bomb on the plane. They claimed it was the Russians that took them down from the sky uh, and it took them for 10 years to admit they would postpone, if you like, investigation. Uh, it was for 10 years and still unlikely. People who stated this, it finally the truth came out that there was a bomb on the plane, yeah. Because the bomb was planted already in the Warsaw in Poland before the plane even uh, took off to Russia, to Katyn. Katyn is a famous place where Russians executed all the Polish officers during the World War II when they attacked Poland from one side and had Germans attack Poland from the other side, yeah? So, I need you to understand this guy, where the fuck this guy is coming from, who this guy is. But I have to tell you, to tell you this guy, Czech people, literally espionaged for the Serbia, 
during the conflict on the Balkans. They were sending mixed signals. But in between these mixed, uh, mixed signals, during which they acted like observers, yes, they acted like observers. They would go to the certain locations and they would observe the war uh, like neutral people uh, did send signals, did give assistance to the Serbs. If nothing else, what the Poland did against me, what Poland was doing against me, it was completely in line with the Russians, with the Serbs. So there is no doubt about who this guy was, what this guy wanted to do, what this guy was preparing himself against me. Maybe the only bad part about it is that Polish people did give him and his political party a chance to count votes because it doesn't matter who votes what you vote but what matters is who counts the votes so he could become again a president with the Morawiecki as a prime minister and so on that's a bad stuff because these are the criminals that were involved against me since 1995 and from what I deem Polish nation as whole have provided them with a refuge uh, appointed them as a head politicians of the country so they could uh, protect themselves basically use diplomatic means to protect their interests in crime not only for their sake but that's what I think that's why the Polish nation voted for them for the sake of the Poland because they had no conscience to admit the crime so they rather resorted themselves to more crime by electing these people as their officials. So this was the guy who worked on this lady Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic uh, and in 2000 when Croatia signed the paperwork with the Serbia literally inside of this house they did inside of my room yeah stuff like this happened uh, unofficially but then officially it was confirmed they did they created all the agreements unofficially and for the unofficial place this was the number one place right here this house my room this is where the agreements were signed in the name of this case MKL Treslow when they when the Croats reached their independent status and there was no more fear they're gonna be faced with a war, with another war or whatever, with the Serbs. And this peace came greatly at the expense of Bosnian people. The first thing that happened was this girl here that you see right there. The first thing that happened to me was she spit on me. That was the first thing. Claiming that Ah, the two, the two uh, compared each other, their facial features, how the Croat and Polak look the same, and this and that, and la 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 la. The first thing she did was, <laughs> the first thing she did was, she turned against me and she stated, well, uh, you're going to have to accept uh, uh, Polish, you're going to have to embrace uh, these people and so on and so forth. The Czech, the Polish people who greatly uh, exercised violence on me, you're going to have to accept them, uh, uh, our facial features and so on. Uh, and until then, the only thing that's going to happen is I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Fuck you, basically. Sit in the car and went her way, rushed her way. This is as soon as the deal between the Serbs and Croats was reached, before it was officially signed, in year 2000. This was the first thing that happened. Now we're going to go to this song here. Uh, later on, this girl would remind me, would continue to remind me, that she will help me unless you mention anything about... Duda and her and this and that. Yeah, you understand? Uh, Andrzej Duda 
so that there wouldn't be no nothing that no suspicion nothing whatsoever however uh, Poland donated to it was actually much worse this this was not even what hurt me what actually hurt me was that Poland donated or I should say Andrzej Duda was the one who got to gain the pleasure the right through Kaczynski is to donate to, to Croatia uh, about maybe 50 Kalashnikov guns. Uh, now, the number is significantly probably higher, uh, but this really was a garbage that Poland did not know what the fuck to do with it. Uh, it was a post-Soviet trash. They wanted to get rid of it. Uh, and for this 50 fucking Kalashnikov guns. Uh, what can I say? You're gonna see what the fuck happened, how that went. For this 50 Kalashnikov guns, everything that I stated to you have taken place, no longer or ever existed. In 2000, when in 2000, when uh, they reached this deal uh, it was nothing about what West contributed to Croatia to Croatian liberation I didn't exist anymore it was all about the fuck you uh, you don't like us yeah I didn't even like her obviously you understand and it was all about the, the Polish assistance to Croatia in other words it was the Poland the one that liberated Croatia yeah you get it it was not anymore that West helped that West had anything to do with it it was like basically finger in the face to the Angela Merkel got really hurt just like I got pissed off uh, French people when they watched this they couldn't fucking believe nobody believe American administration the stuff they watched uh, everybody went his way I, I got finger in my face and it was the 50 Kalashnikovs that liberated Croatia. Now, let's go back to this issue here. We're going to concern ourselves with this guy, Marko Pirkovic. We're going to concern ourselves with the Marko Pirkovic, Scott Thompson. Yeah? Thompson. The guy I told you about, the great man who returned from the Germany uh, where he used to live with his parents and so that he could fight the war for the sake of Croatia. Yeah, this is the guy right here. That's a guy right here that you see. This is the guy. This is a big guy. Yeah? At the time, he really was hero. I cherished him since 95. And it's because of the people like this that I did go and sacrifice myself, wasted myself indiscriminately as much as it didn't matter to me, whatever it took. Just so as long as the Cro Croatia and Croat people could survive this war. They got two doppelgangers of this guy, two of them, Serbs. Putin arranged two doppelgangers of this guy. They looked exactly almost like this guy, identical. They participated with Andrzej Duda, with the Moraviecki. Moraviecki and Andrzej Duda were MK Ultra staff members who participated in Polish Hunger Games. Kaczynski, Donald Trump, this was all in Olympics of bullshit basically which during which uh negotiations between the western eastern europe west and east chinese also uh, participated americans australians just like here in our house 
And it was the same in Belarus, and it was the same in Russia, not, not like this. It was different, but in Poland it was very specific. They would have two guys, doppelgangers of this guy, involved in a meteor trial. Which facial characteristic so closely reminded of this guy that I have actually mistaken the two at times with this very guy here that you see. But this guy was very pro Croat, Croatian, as much as Croat possibly can be Croatian. But those other guys were actually Chetniks. It was always about, we're not sure. We're not sure anymore whether we should fight for Croatia or not when we see you. We're not sure anymore whether this or that, whether so on and so forth. Do you understand? It was all about we're not sure. We're not sure whether it's right that we're doing. We're not sure what it is this. We're not sure what it was that. It was insults to me in my face as per my facial characteristics. It was insult everywhere. What the fuck went on here in Slovenia with me? I already have told you about human experimentations through the cancer uh, in Poland, what they were doing with my spine and so on during Anki uh, They obtained broken spine, damaged, herniated spine. Pictures already sometimes in 2004. So the, all they had to do is copy paste when I returned back to Poland and so on. Uh, so listen to me. This guy here, it was not only this Croatian lady here that gave me a finger in my face. The second one who gave me the finger in the face was this guy here. In 2000 something, 2001, it was this guy who turned against me. And it was a new song. It was a new song that was born. It was this famous Goni Bandu Preko, I don't know, Izvora. You know, Kalashnikov. Goni Bandu Preko Iz Preko Izvora, yeah, Tom Thompson. And it was literally inserted in his video spot that's what that's what that's what it gets me that's what fucks me up uh, let's do this stuff again Marco he said I fucking hate you I fucking hate you uh, I fucking hate you and because I hate you so that you will you will recall you will recall because you don't like us you don't like our facial characteristics never mind that I was beaten up all over the Serbia and Bosnia by the Serbs never mind about the stuff I have spoken about which Croats knew because it was the shit that went also by the Croats alone the Croatian police during the money exchange games would take me inside of the houses where the service would be and they would perform beating on me. It was that kind of stuff too that went on. Forget about that shit. Were you gonna, were you gonna watch this song here? That's he right there. And they call this Kalashnikovs. Just remember, this was basically the fuck you, thank you, the Croatian fuck you, thank you to Americans, to the French, to the Germans for their assistance. The Kalashnikovs, that's the Pollocks. That's what the fuck we are, Croats. That's what the fuck we are. We're Pollocks. We are, we are proud, Slavic pride worldwide. Rakia, fuck ya. Be brother me. Yeah, you watch this spot. You watch this spot from this fucking guy. <laughs> from this traitor. It doesn't matter if he's a Croat. That's one thing. I'm not saying that he's not, but he's a traitor. And that's, in my book, that defines absolutely everything. We, I didn't fucking exist. We did not fucking exist. You could see that his lady, Grabar Gitarovich, post everywhere with Andrei Duda. So just so that I would not forget how they fucked me. This guy made the spot. It was all about the Kalashnikovs. 
yeah you can watch that video that's another video that's another video he had made it but just to remind me he cursed me out he cursed america out he cursed everybody out kalashnikov in the hand kalashnikov in the hand Dziękuję, spasiva bracie polski polsi that's how the fuck that was yeah marko thompson pirkovic the guy who fucked me with other Croats and he doesn't get more Croatian than this guy had during his concerts to which I have participated his Croats who committed enormous amount of violence against me during the concert and after the concert used sleep deprivation methods to beat me up during his uh, concerts and so on and this incident that i stated this was not so bad in comparison to other croats in zadar uh, in sin uh, they threatened they will kill me if i ever come there croats threatened me all over croatia they will kill me if i ever get there in croatia croats not serbs serbs were worst but the croats equal shit it was croatian violence all over slavonia all over zagreb it was all over istria it was all over dalmatia it was all over the fucking croatia including with this guy here yeah once they reached the peace deal with the serbs the new croatia was born the name of the new croatia was a kalashnikov kalashnikov in the name of the kalashnikov me palyaki you fucking nobody with a psychiatrist slovenian psychiatrist the croats tortured me in karlovac in zagreb in rijeka in dalmatia all over slavonia and so on but don't worry they didn't give a fuck about what went on with me in serbia and so on don't worry croat brother don't worry about i say brother because in this video that he made about the Ivan, my Ivan. You know that video that I demonstrated you first about the Ivan. That's another video. They brainwashed me inside of my room with a psychiatrist. Don't say this. Don't say that. Don't say this. Don't say that. Don't you don't you see in a video spot that he wants to brother you, be brother you, and during the video itself. The guy is looking up, you know, during the video itself. During the video itself, during the video of this, my Ivan, he's looking like this up. He's looking all the time, he's looking like this up, he's looking up like this. Why he's looking up? He told me because, so that he would remind me that he looked like a Ukrainian. Because supposedly the Ukrainians that I facially like. This is like not Mac Daddy of the Lunacy, but Mac Daddy of Betrayal. I told you when I eat 5,000 calories this morning, this is the last fucking time I eat them in the name of Croatia. But I ate a lot of shit. I suffered enormously, immensely because of these fucking neighbors here across Gorianzi. But the other side is actually worse. It's evil, that's a pure evil. So you get to choose in between. And that's your choice. Funny shit, when Prince Harry and William stated they are mental health experts. That's a funny shit to somebody like me. I don't know how you guys took that, but to me, that was a funny shit. I actually don't have any hatred for either, for any of these royals. Zero hatred, actually. Uh, but you got to admit, that's a fucking funny shit. Funny shit it is. Be brother me. Be brother me. Uh, don't you see he wants to become like you? Want to become like me? Fuck. How want to become like me? How do you want to become like me? 
I don't understand this. How, how the hell do you want to become like me? You want to become like me? Okay. Here is the fucking book here, right? How do you want to become like me? Let's see this. Let's hear how do you want to become like me? How the fuck you want to become like me? My facial features bother you, basically. This is the list of the name here. In Slovenia, look. This is, this is the list of the name. Which one do you want? This is big, this thing here. Which one do you want? I'll take like this, random, here. And I can start here with the Meierle. I can start right here with the name Meierle. Meierle you're gonna find in French. Meierle, Meierle, Makuts. Uh, Makuts, Makuts, uh, this is all German, basically. You understand? Malavashic, I'm not sure, maybe even Croat. Malic, Malnar, this is all from the German variations, names. It's like this, more than 50% of the name, my friend. How the fuck are you going to become like, uh, for me to be brother you? Uh, you want me to, to brother you? and uh, that, that uh, want to become like me. No, you don't want to become like me. There is something else here. Me, I didn't fucking exist. I didn't exist. I didn't exist. I didn't exist. You want to become everything but like me. You fucking hate me so much that uh, you throw me inside of the mental hospital. You hate me so much that you watch me being tortured by the Slovenian psychiatrists in Croatia. You assisted them because of my facial features. You got a problem with my facial features. Because everything I have done for you, everything West have done for you was not worth it for you shit. Be brother me. No, this is not be brother. This is a fucking wipeout. This is when you hug somebody and somebody hugs you and the only thing is you turn into a dust under his coat basically when he hugs you now that's a croatia and so that's something i have to say fuck you and this year this is slovenia in slovenia here in slovenia i got to tell you we were part of the austria for 1000 years that's one thing and the second thing is our people traveled to Germany, to Austria, to Scandinavia, to Canada, to United States of America, more than anybody group from so-called Yugoslavia. Croats did too. Shame. Shame on fuck you, shame you. Eh? Ran from the Tito regime, ran from the Serbian greater Chetnik state, found their homeland in Germany to earn the money to survive, to be alive, rather than to be thrown on a island known as a Gali Otok or to die in the psychiatric facilities, jobless, killed left and right, back and forth. And you're gonna fucking say to me, what? No? Be brother what? Who is the brother? Where is the brother? I was not the only one who had a problem with this kind of stuff, but I'm the only one who's gonna stop this kind of shit. Politicians from the outside cannot do anything about this stuff. They can't do anything about this stuff. But I'm gonna speak about this kind of stuff because this Croatian abuse, it never stopped. This Croatian abuse dragged more and more and more and more and more. And it's possible it's gonna bring to another Balkan war and it's gonna be for bad, not for good. You see, this here, this is a Swedish king. Carl Gustav is his name. You see this here? This is a Swedish king. His name is Carl Gustav. And this man owns Saab. Saab is a company that has fallen apart, but its division of fighter jets known as Saab Gripen 
did not. That's the one that actually survived, and those planes are uh, feral planes. They're feral. They cost uh, more than what Polish got their planes from North, uh, South Korea recently. This fighter jets, South Gripen. Now, they're feral jets. A technology is based on best American features, single engine, uh, fuel extremely efficient, and so, man, I find myself in a pro Croatia being beaten up. Something I think that uh, I'm just going to put it this way. Something that Sweden offers gripping to Croatia. And it was 12 brand new Gripen fighter jets that was offered to Croatia. This was the deal that with Gustav, <laughs> I was many times in Croatia along the Adriatic Sea under MK Ultra. I literally will say this to you. Swedish offered this Croats. 12 new fighter jets and 500 high-tech jobs. This is the kind of jobs that people, whatever, they would uh, really, really kill to get this kind of jobs, yeah? Um, and they did this like for a really, really, if you ask me jobs, are worth more than that. Symbolic $1 billion, something like this, yeah? Now, Croatia afterwards decided uh, will not purchase this 12. Uh, fighter jets. Yeah. Croatia Israel F-16. Israel says U.S. blocks its sale of fighter jets to Croatia. Uh, Croatia formerly nixes F-16. 500 million deal to buy 12 used fighter jets from Israel. F-16 fighter jets from Israel uh, for 500 million. Uh, Cancelled them and this and that and ta 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 ta. I, I just need, need you to understand the post the post uh, relationship between me and between the post war for the for the Croat for the Croatian homeland so that you understand the relationship between those systems there's gonna be any fucking confusions about this shit in English I'm telling you the F-16s were on the table sometimes but the first planes that were on the table really was the Swedish planes and these are the planes literally I brokered for Croatia the fighter jets from Sweden I wanted for the Croatia and the deal that they offered for 1 billion I think uh, new fighter jets with the high-tech jobs with the 500 high-tech jobs you can't beat possibly So what the fuck happened? In 2000 and, uh, 2012, it was this uh, Croatian uh, Prime Minister. Let me demonstrate to you this guy so that you, you know, there is a president and there is a Prime Minister like I said, you have no fucking idea how much I want to finish this video, this 5,000 calories and move on with my life.
So there you have Croatian president. His name is Zoran Milanovic. You will remember this guy. Uh, <laughs> Zoran, uh, uh, yeah. Zoran Milanovic, this guy here, you're gonna remember, this is a Croatian president, okay, Zoran Milanovic is his name, I'm gonna be talking about this guy, yeah, you see it, yeah, and then it's gonna be about the Plenkovic, that's a Prime Minister Plenkovic, which I have to make sure that you Plenkovic Prime Minister Andrei Plenkovic you're gonna remember this guy he's here with Yanis Yansha you see ah there you go you see this is this is the guy yeah you're gonna this is a prime minister and the other one was a president you're gonna you're gonna remember this shit here with this guy what I can tell you is in 95 since I did spoke about Milan Kuchan in the 95. It's a big fucking video, I know. But that's all you need to know about me in Croatia. This is a Milan Kuchan. This is this guy here. Yeah. This is this guy. There you go. That's the guy. Yeah, this is the guy who started with the beating in 95 this this man this brave guy this guy yes this guy this guy this guy in 95 when we would go when we would have a processions when we would travel to croatia on foot literally on foot they would walk 75 kilometers uh, to zagreb from here uh, he would not even dare to go across the border because of me. Not because of me, but because of the crime, because of the violence he did to me. It is the violence <laughs> that I promised him I'm going to kill him as soon as I get my hands on him. At first opportunity that I'm going to have, he's dead. He, his comrades, all fucking dead from the first to the last. 95, 96, 97. Beatings in front of the partisan memorials. This here, this is the fucking neighbor here. Berger. The guy who traveled to Belgrade sometimes on a weekly basis. On a monthly basis sometimes with his wife. I told him, boy, when I fucking get you in hands, you, your comrades, you're fucking dead. From the first to the last. He was so scared would not stop with the violence in Slovenia, continue with the violence, stopped right in front of the Croatian border between Slovenia and Croatia and would not dare to cross to Croatia. That's why he paid the other neighbor right there to drive me to the Serbs in Croatia for beatings, for abuse, for torture. The Croatian Prime Minister Plenkovic knew him. His apprentice, this guy here, this, this guy, this apprentice, that's a Borut Pahor. This guy here. This was the first one of this people, of Milan Kuchan people, that managed to penetrate to Croatia. He actually dared to go to Croatia, maybe even already in 95, in 96. 
because I promise that any one of you guys that I get, that as soon as I get my hands on, you're fucking dead. If I get you in Croatia, if I get you in Croatia during MK Ultra, you're dead. You're dead. There's no fucking way that you're gonna escape you or somebody or something like this. Because of this shit, they would not even dare to go inside of Croatia, these people. You understand? This was the relationship between me, between the Croats, between Slovenia, exactly what you see right there. The government. But it was the Plenkovich who told me, who knew about this stuff. Plenkovich was the, the number one for the Zagreb. This was one of the most trusted, definitely a Croat. Who stated, but there is nothing we can do. We have to host these people. We have to host them. Please be patient. Let them be. Don't be like this. Uh, we have to do it. He was excusing himself to me. He was excusing himself to me. And so in 96, Milan Kuchan actually came to Croatia, to Zagreb, only Zagreb, only Zagreb, special protection around him. Only Zagreb, only selected circle of people. That's all the fuck there was with the bodyguards, with whatever. This is the relationship that we have here. Boy, years went by. And what I can tell you is, along that president that you have seen in Croatia, it was all these Croatian politicians including the Croatian president. That one was bad already to begin with. They turned their backs to me. From one to another, they turned their backs to me. Uh, but the way they did this stuff, they did this stuff in the most despicable way. Um, Croatian prime minister eventually because of what I stated, my relationship was between the culture and myself, Pahor, rated me as violent. That's actually something that Slovenian police pick it up. How the fuck you rate somebody during the torture that he's violent? You torture the person and you rate one is violent. The person that you are torturing is violent. Sir, you're fucking violent. I torture you and I tell you you're violent. I told you I ate five fucking thousand calories today. I got video to finish. Plenkovic come to terms, came to terms as soon as Croatia was liberated. That I'm violent. In 2012, that's a year before I was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital and rated as a paranoid schizophrenic, Ljubljana Poli. Plenkovic came to me, we are going to Brussels together with a bus. You know, everybody rated you as a Nazi, as a neo-Nazi. I am the only one they did not rate you as a neo-Nazi. And uh, otherwise, everybody in a Sabor think you are a Nazi. Oh, that's fucking nice because 17, 17, one, 17 years of torture, beating, death threats on the Serbian side of the border and on the Croatian side of the border. And I really beg your pardon, I apologize that I still wouldn't turn against the Croats, despite the betrayal that Croats have done on me, still didn't turn against the Croats, and maybe this was the main fucking problem here. The fucking guy Plenkovic says, everybody in the South will think you are a, you are a new Nazi, you're shit, you're no good, except I am trying to hold the whole thing together, the whole South. You're gonna fuck us all up, You're destroying us. Now, we are not gonna buy your Swedish planes. We're gonna punish you. Swedish planes are on the picture already for God knows how long. 
So you're gonna fuck me? Yes. It's gonna be Israeli planes. It's gonna be Israeli planes, but it's not gonna be Swedish. La 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 la. So the Kalashnikov had a real problem in his head. You know, be brother me, right? Be brother me. The bro the brothers, the brother, be brother me. Okay, be brother me. Okay. This was a Plankovich. Uh, Swedish fighter jets did not go through as a sale. They didn't purchase. I am pleased, no less. French assisted them again with sale of Mirage. Uh, Mirage. But the Swedish not. This was all on a table. This all this stuff was on a table. First, it was Israeli. Uh, Israeli Israelis didn't want to give them some kind of special stuff on those planes, included. Uh, so the sale wouldn't go through. And the second one. The second option with the Swedish never really existing other than on a, you know, come see, come saw, like they say. That actually was, what is this now? I'm not supposed to disconnect like this. I don't even, I didn't even go into the area of, uh, modem or anything like this okay this Rafale planes that's what they purchased afterwards what about the same cost I don't know uh, which are excellent great and I'm thankful for these planes for these French planes uh, to me they are definitely uh, French or Swedish to me it makes no difference or French or Swedish uh, okay, they got the 12 French uh, Rafale fighter jets for 1.2 billion uh, and voila, they got it for um, yeah, I think it was 999 something like this million or something like this because the 9 is my number as I told you everything about me under MK Ultra was about 9 so the French finalized this, they finalized the sale with the French, but with the Swedish not. So it was like repulsion uh, against uh, certain people that Germans obviously had we really, really caught my attention, this stuff. Really, really caught my attention because of what I demonstrated to you up there. Uh, you know, Poland, Czech Republic, this is countries over there that speak Slavic language, right? Uh, similar to our language. Or Croatian language because we are from we have languages from the family of the Slavic people that's what we have I don't mind I didn't mind I don't mind any of it I like Polish I like Czech I like all this stuff but Czech Republic didn't do shit for Slovenian people Poland didn't do shit for Slovenian people Slovenian people no Slovenian people ever immigrated either to Poland or to the Czech Republic. There was a lot of Czech people, Polish people that escaped from Poland and from the Czech Republic here to Slovenia, also to Croatia. Bielovar, for instance, they escaped from there. Polacks and Czechs ran from the Soviet occupation to Germany to earn themselves bread. Just like our people from Yugoslavia, they ran to Germany to earn bread, to, to earn money, to be alive. You get my point? 
this was like our second homeland over there in Germany. And we were part of it for a very, very long time. But you want to talk about the partisan movement or something in Slovenia? You should tell the partisans in Slovenia, Slovenian partisans, they're not welcome to be partisans because of partially German DNA they have. You should tell them that in the Second World War, when the Germans were here and they were fighting Germans, you're fucking nobody to tell anybody how he's going to be, how he's going to think, how he's going to, what he's going to see himself and how he's going to fucking perish. How are you going to murder one through the force of employment under the psychiatric institutions? You crazy motherfuckers, eh? You have a god that I brought to Slovenia in 95. Dutch king was here, Swedish king, Norwegian king. Norwegian king, the one whose father ran with a family abroad so he could save himself from the Nazis, was rated as a neo-Nazi. They rated everybody as a Nazi. If only was a royal, he was a Nazi. And now we're going to have this shit like this going on in Croatia like this, in independent Croatia like that stuff. Oh, okay. All right. But I thought that this would be interesting for the world to know, that this would be interesting view on Croatia, for the people from around the world to see where the fuck they are. I'm not going to forget. In 2000, when I was like given like this from the Colinda Grabber, like this in the face, in the room, before we sat with the Merkel inside of the car, and she took me, she knew that, that I had a nervous breakdown. I didn't demonstrate anything in front of anybody. But when you're betrayed like this, like this, we came to Germany. Next time when he brought me back from the United States, he said, help my friend, just help him. She backed everybody throughout the Germany, whoever she knew, whether that was a fucking artist or whatever the fuck it was. Just help him, please, my friend. Help my friend with a broken heart. I was so fucked up mentally dead from this stuff since 2000 that, you know, you didn't know from which side you're gonna get your fucking knife between your ribs. The knives are coming from every fucking side you possibly can imagine. That's why 5,000 calories today when I'm filming this stuff. That's what I do when I, this shit has got to be done. And that is the best way to get over with like this. And yeah, I know, I have a cancer. Fuck cancer. Can't afford right now to think about cancer enough. It's this shit more important when it comes out. It's not easy to live like this. I did for 28 years. I don't know what I would tell you about the Croatian president. That one made it as far as rating me as a traitor of the courts. As somebody who was suspicious about, was checked it all along. His paranoia exploded during Croatian uh, blockade of the Serbian transportation services throughout Croatia. Something evolved into a little regional economic war in Balkans in, 90, in 2015 or something like this. Where you are probably a Serbian Chetnik. You are a traitor yourself. So, I don't know, I don't know, man, how much really we have common when it comes to the Croats. I would say probably nothing. As far as myself, nothing. I don't like to get confused. I like to get shit together. In this war, the fucking shoes, Nike, were guilty. 
a BMW or Mercedes, but prohibited brands. Watches, jeans, whatever. This uh, post-communist, communist lunacy evidently completely prevailed also here because that you would be ashamed of the people that actually liberated you and deny them uh, well that that is that is yeah. Milan Kuchan told me in 2012 he told me now I don't have a problem to go in Croatia anymore now you are no dangerous anymore you know H-R-V-A-T-S-K-A Milan Kuchan Hrvatska And I'm gonna... The only thing I'm gonna demonstrate to you here I'm gonna put... O-D-M-O-R If it's not gonna be Hrvatska Odmor And then probably it's gonna be Oh, there you go. Relaxed in 2012 in Croatia, Mr. Milan Kuchar, he told me, now I no longer fear you, now I can go worry free to Croatia. The first thing I do, I have a good time in Croatia. <laughs> well, the Milan Kuchar had a good time with these traitors all the time. There was no fucking time he didn't have a good time, but in 2012, <laughs> You see the date, 2012? Milan Kuchan had a really, really, really good time. You know why he had a good time? Because in 2013, Milan Kuchan threw me with his Croatian partners inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje in Slovenia. You understand, Croatia? I want you to know, you motherfuckers, that I know who the fuck you are. I can see through you, fuckers. I know you, who you are, I know where you are, I know what you did, I know who is primarily guilty for this shit. And I just want you to know I delayed this stuff for so long, so that the world will see the real beast over there in Russia. But from now on, in respect to Ukraine, but from now on you're pretty much on your own when it comes to West. I ain't gonna be fucking no lobbying for you no more. You were watching me beaten up, tortured inside of the psychiatric hospitals, and yet and then nothing but helped. These people here, people like this, to destroy me, to murder me, basically. I'm now very, very close to finishing this 5,000 calories in the most uh, proper way for me and touch, never touch this subject again. Maybe interesting that with the Britney Spears when I traveled to Croatia, uh, I was separated from her and her family, beaten up on the side. It's the same kind of experience I have experienced with others. It's something that Kolinda Grabar Gitarovic stated, we are doing this kind of stuff to you, so you're going to muscle up. So you're not going to allow for people to torture you. Closer and closer to this, getting rid of this. Curse that I carried on my back. And I had to save it for the last. The Czech people, just as they promised, would. The last time I was in uh, Brezhica a few days ago, I went there to exchange this Polish currency. And also had a little Czech currency with me, worth 15 euros. Did exactly what they stated they would. They went ahead and they even changed the banknotes. They changed the banknotes. It's all audio recorded that money exchange shop would not change to me. 
because there were new banknotes that were issued. And I got these banknotes from ATM machine in Ostrava just two years ago, something over two years ago. So they did exactly what they promised would. Like I said, from the Czech people, from the Polish people, traditionally, we didn't get nothing but fucking problems. I remember them as a thieves, as a robbers along the Adriatic coast when I was a child. They would travel to Adriatic coast from this Soviet occupied Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, and would steal belongings to the people and sell cheap products to pay for their way back to Slovakia, Czech Republic. Something I actually regretted, felt really sorry for them. I always was on their side. Uh, I don't know. They appealed to me as a people. I didn't have any kind of hard feelings about it. But that's all the fuck we ever got from the Czech people. That's all the fuck I ever got. In Ostrava, they break that Stroda car. They robbed me of everything, all the belongings. They stole everything. And it was time for me to finish the trip with a broken spine. Trip in Poland and in the Czech Republic. And that pretty much was it. And so, if that's now a promised land, that's like a new promised land now for, for the people. Right there, you can see it. Be so, for me not. For me not. I appreciate myself every bit of myself the way I am, I'm never gonna have any regrets and you're fucking worms, not people you are fucking worms, everything that you stated for the Germans and I'm talking about the Slovenian people too that's what the fuck you are, nobody else you cook the war in Ukraine and you try to cook the war against the Taiwan you have no idea what the fuck was done to me inside of this house for me to eventually either lobby for China and Russia or be destroyed. Eventually, once I did, once in lifetime I did too. For a year I did it too. For the truth to come out. So that's all I want to say in respect to this video. I am not sure whether I did left uh, something out of it. Maybe interesting was if I go back to Thompson. I will not be capable to save you. If you will say la 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 la. Same shit was with uh, Croatian President Kolinda Grabar Gitarovic and Croatian President as well. I will not be able to save you if you will say this or you will say that you will we will even have a problem and blah 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 we wrote already history like this don't change our history and tra 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 uh facial his facial features his facial features how can I tell you uh when the Chetnik came to me in inside the house here and attacked me, basically assaulted me and verbally and physically and his doppelgangers that were um, participated in this MK Ultra games and so on uh, you know, I would I didn't expect that he's gonna save or anything anybody or anything like this, you know but I expected, really, I expected that just like I have recognized him all along that he would have enough decency enough truth in him uh, so that at least he's going to keep his fucking mouth shut, you know? He didn't have to go and say, oh, well, you know, they did this and they, you know, nobody asked him. No, no Germans didn't ask him. British didn't ask him. Americans didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. I didn't ask for absolutely anything. For anything. But, man, he turned against 
He had his own fucking agenda running, Kalashnikov agenda. Poland was the one that came and saved Croatia through Oluya, through that storm. The fucking people that espionage for the Serbs that were beating me over there in, in, in Poland, also on the concerts and so on, with the Serbian musicians who came to Poland, uh, to Poland literally. They fucking saved Croatia. In the end, fucking Satan saved Croatia. And I never ever existed. That's Croatia. So I didn't expect I didn't expect that much hatred from these people. Um, week ago, a small Fiat white one with a Zagreb tag stopped the Zabje bus Rondo uh, intersection to give me the right to turn left. He was very slow, he, he moved very slow, stopped on a red light right in front of me and so I was capable to pull faster than he did, uh, proceeded straight, I turned left in front of him. That was a range on the MTR that I will begin to. And two days ago, there was a Volkswagen Polo, just like it was under MK Ultra. That was a, uh, like a metallic orange, dark color. Maybe Croats even arranged this with the Serbs, who the fuck knows. Did have a Croatian tag license plate too, but I don't know from, I don't know what it was. Day or whatever, the gig, whatever. And it doesn't matter. These people were involved in it. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I don't give a fuck if they came. Look, I don't care if they came from whatever the fuck they came. You knew for 28 years what the fuck went on. I made my fucking video about this stuff. You kept silence about it. I'm gonna tell you, even the European Union funds were released to you about 300 million euros on the day I mentioned the money exchange operations in Zagreb that went on during MK Ultra. Even that shit was arranged during MK Ultra. It's gonna take place. I was not awarded to Croatia shit. They have written their own Ante Gotovina story. Ante Gotovina, the general, the betrayal didn't end there. The betrayal didn't end during the Oluya storm operation, liberation of Croatia. The Ante Gotovina actually rated me as an ultimate traitor. Ante Gotovina, who escaped with the money afterwards on a big disappointment of Western leaders who told me upon liberation of Croatia, this is the guy who's going to go and he's going to assist you because you chose him. He's going to assist you. He's going to recognize you that you were involved in MK Ultra. He escaped with a pile of gold to some fucking place, exotic, and enjoyed himself to the full potential, leaving his me behind like I never fucking existed. And betrayal didn't end there. Yes, after this, I became guilty in his eyes to killing his uh, war comrades. <sighs> he held me at the funerals in Croatia, claimed, bitch me, cursed me out that I was, I don't know what the fuck I did. And blah, 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 blah. The shit, the shit started with uh, individual whose name is. Franja Tujman, who demanded, I don't know, his daughters or his granddaughter for me to marry one of them. And because I refused that, because it was not according to my taste, then I was a fucking cursed man in Croatia. Because I was so important that Croatia gained independence because of me. You have to get married with my daughter. You don't get married with my daughter. You fucking over it, you did, you whatever the fuck. Yeah, and so it was a violence from the family of the Franja Tujman as well. 
this country was founded on a fucking lies founded on the fucking lies this creation curse this lie it's either going to be the lie that's going to be recognized as legitimate from the people who assembled one like Marko Pirkovic Thompson or it's going to be you if it's going to be you you're going to destroy us we're going to be destroyed I'll tell you what fuck you uh, have your Croatia you did everything you did it's all yours uh, you are the number one everything is okay you honorable people have it your way They will never recognize you if you will say this and if you will say this. Franja Tujman, I, I need to tell you who the Franja Tujman was. This is a Franja Tujman here, look. So that, that you also get to see this guy here. This is a Croatian general, historian. Uh, you know, this is a big fucking man and his son and everybody is all fucking good people. Great people. I'll tell you what, I would have never ever made it without this people. But I have not made it with this people either. That's the only thing that is... Uh, how can I say? That's the only thing I can say that's the only... Um, Oh, he was poisoned by the Russians. He was poisoned by the Russians is what I was told. But, man, it appears that this family suffered other poisoning even when the Russians no longer existed. So, out of own fucking precaution, when you're dealing with a Croatian state, you better, better watch behind your back. I don't know who was the next one in line of Tujman who also disappeared and that kind of stuff. His death in 1999. Yeah. His death was in 1999. Yeah. Well, 999, given my lucky numbers, Russians got him in 1999, I suppose, because, you know. I think. The honesty is the best policy, and I think these people yet have to learn about what honesty is. Thanks for watching this video. Let me give you a date and time here so that you can have this date, time. You're going to do it like this, like that. A police officer director now, Jana Zogulin. Jana Zogulin. This guy here from Novo Mesto, this guy. This guy was completely comfortable. He was completely comfortable with the crime, this individual here. And so were from the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polia. They were completely comfortable. When I was talking about good about Croatia, director of the Novo Mesto police, this, this individual here that you see right there. Yeah, this guy here. This guy was the one who was driving me to the city known as Ogulin in Croatia and had posted me in that city next to the castle. But the police, the novelist, the Slovenian police was the one. Yeah, Ogulin, that's also a city in Croatia. They, uh, they drove me with a car to Bosnia, to the Serbs for beatings, for torture. Every time I was hijacked, abducted from the bed. In sunny Miami, Florida, USA. Between 1995 and all the way to... August of 2006, for 11 and a half consecutive years, 
hijacking, abductions, and this shit. You know? This is a story about the worst racist neo-Nazi and everything, all the fucking evil that existed in this world. So for you to know one. Who, how, and why. I ain't got nothing else to say. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Let the Croatia be known also for what it was and for what it is. No, I will continue to campaign for Croatia regardless of it. Because... On the other side, with the Russia, the Russia, Serbia, Serbs campaigned for the genocide against the Ukrainian people. But that is the biggest evil the world have ever seen. If anything, in Ukraine, a new Europe is going to be born. Do we have a chance anywhere? We have on the other side of the Kalashnikov. So that's why I know that Ukraine is the one to support, and that's what I insisted on since 1995. Despite everything, I never ceased to support the right options, despite all the odds. They wanted to portray me as a traitor, they wanted to do whatever, and they couldn't. Okay, so this was not an easy video to make, but now the video is behind me, and it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Thanks for watching this video, till next time. 142 minutes almost. Jeez, let me just stop it.